In this video I will talk a little bit about the CH552 um, ship series. So there are the 551 to 559 chips available and you may remember them from a few earlier videos I made about them. These are very cheap yeah, USB enabled microcontrollers with an AD51 core inside and the company WCH make also these CH340 chips which are the well-known Chinese USB to serial converters and I just want to show a flaw in the bootloader that is chipped on them which you don't can change unfortunately so I already showed the app I made for it to program them and I added a function to this to read out the whole flash of the chip so if you find them in the wild you just can dump all the program on it via a flaw in the verify command so here I want to show where the vulnerability in the bootloader is so here on the left side I have the source code the recreated source code from Thomas and it's for the version 1.1 bootloader and it looks uh, quite the same but a little bit different on the 2.3 bootloader and here we have the verify section so um, I have here on the right my Android application source code and you can yeah, kind of build it together it creates the write command array with the command a6 and you can see on the left side that a6 is the verify command and here's also a descriptor for the verify command so you have a6 then you, you have the length of the command including the byte you want to verify and here is one that is not important then you have the start address from the checked uh, verify position so you define where you want to yeah, verify the bytes and after that you can um, just pass a few bytes in that will get verified and the minimum are eight bytes that you can yeah, verify and as you can see here I am sending eight bytes and the last one of them is the it's just in in an integer or a byte that gets increased or decreased to brute force every every possible yeah byte on that section and the flaw is generally that you yeah can just pass 10 bytes and ask if they are correct or if they are the same in flash and as we know the bootloader and also the hex values of the bootloader we can start at the bootloader and pass 10 correct bytes and then go one byte for one byte in the flash either to the higher side of it or to the lower side of the flash and brute force every possible byte so it will just shift the read bytes one by one when it found one good or one positive answer from the verify command and would uh, it will then go yeah one by one and yeah it will yeah check everything and as said here on read flash version 2 it's quite the same you can see it here um, the command is built a little bit different but generally it's yeah the same I have to say thank you to Thomas who did most of the reverse engineering of the bootloader and 
has hit its head very deep into the CH chips. And here yeah, also the colleagues on the microcontroller.net forum in the thread yeah, get this all together and in the end we we successfully built this. And also Thomas had or has a program to read the flash on the computer. So you don't need an Android phone for it. And yeah, that's it. I will just show how it looks if you dump the flash. So for this I will connect an CH552 chip to the mobile phone right now or to the smartphone in bootloader mode and then the app will or the Android itself will ask to permit the USB connection and I will click OK and now you see it has detected bootloader version 1.1 and I can directly click on dump flash. It will now brute force the complete flash one byte after another. This chip is not empty but most of it is empty and it will already yeah show the content where it isn't empty if there is more on the chip the dump process will take longer and if it's empty it will get there quite quick after it successfully dumped the yeah binary data you can share it and you can select how you want to do it. So for me, I, I'm always going to an email program and will share it there. So it will yeah, just send the content via an email and you can edit it further on your computer. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you can find a CH chip in the wild and can dump it and reprogram it to hack the device. Have a great day. Bye.